Morning. How are we all? Look who we have. This is Louie. Is Louie the gorgeous? Hi, Louie. Uh, so it's Friday. So we thought uh, Friday is a great day and we want to promote a bit of something. So we thought uh, puppies and boobies. So Katie's going to get a boobs out in a second. So Katie's going to get a boobs out in a second. Because that's what works, isn't it? On Instagram. You either stand with your boobs out holding a bottle of whiskey and everybody loves it. Or you hold a puppy. Or you hold a puppy. So, so we're we holding thought, the puppy. We thought, yeah, yeah. This is Louis and he belongs to Robert. Who's going to come in now and just collect him. Your daddy. You go to daddy. <laughs> so... Uh, the reason why we're trying extra hard to get uh, people looking at the video on uh, Instagram is because of Dingle. Look where you look uh, Dingle sent us up these fantastic jackets and said, uh, have a look at this and, and taste our whiskey. And we went, well, I should go on if you have to. <laughs> and so, it also coincides with our charity item. That's why we sort of said we'd leave it all till Friday. Yeah. So thinking Batman. So today we are drinking. It's Friday. I can't be out drinking whiskey. Uh, Dingle uh, This is the core range Yeah It's a huge deal It's I a huge deal to the whiskey world I love the new packaging I do love the new packaging The it blue does, It sets them really, apart really Yeah lovely. absolutely um, But it's a huge deal to the, to the Irish whiskey community Because It's the first of the new guys With a core range expression yeah. Of their own liquid uh, I think It is A monumental Jump For Dingle to make uh, Graham and the team down there and, and Elliot and them all they've now really stepped up yeah, to have, something yeah. another level oh, another of course level. of course um, Dingle I think when in years to come so cheers Katie oh yeah cheers so I think what do you think I think I'm going to have a hell of a Friday <laughs> lads if the auction doesn't go live at five don't worry too much about it we also, Rob made us some uh, cocktails, mm. so we're going to taste them in a minute as well. But I think in years to come, when the story of Irish whiskey gets told, where in, in 10, 20 years' time, when we're talking about Irish whiskey, these guys are going to be on the front page. So there's going to be the, the, the legacy stuff that we have, the Middleton, Cooley's going to be a big part of it, Bushmill's going to be a big part of it. Yeah. But Dingle were the first ones to market with the, the, their, their new liquid or the new destiny and they experienced huge growth and a hu huge um, following in, initially yeah, everybody yeah, yeah, really when, jumped when all over off, them because yeah. but actually it wasn't and that's the thing that most people actually miss so when they first came out in 15 2015 a lot of people sort of it went under the radar I mean I know a lot of the publicans in Dublin they took in the stock because they knew Oliver they wanted to support Oliver they knew it was going to be an integral part of the Irish community but the, the general public hadn't really embraced it at that stage. It wasn't until about batch three that everybody started oh, yeah, losing their yeah, life yeah. and going, oh, we've got to get batch one. And that's what drove the prices on batch one. Batch one went through the ceiling then. Yeah, no, and so true, batch yeah. one cast out was going for, you know, 1,300, 1,500 euros. That, it was yeah. mad and mad. And we appeared at the same time. So there was just a perfect storm of, there was a market there for, the Dingle whiskey, mm -hmm. and guys were just copping onto it. So it, in years to come, Dingle is going to really feature heavily. Now, saying that, the price has softened up. Everybody went, oh, no, you know, they a new founding father's come out. And everybody went, oh, I can't be arsed chasing that. And there's going to be too many, and there's 500 founding fathers, and yada, yada, all the other stories. As it now turns out, there wasn't a glut of 500 founding fathers coming out. They've been coming out in trickles, and they've yeah. been coming out. So we have some of them as well in this auction. I think, at the minute, is the right time to buy Dingle. And I'm saying that because the prices are just that wee bit softer that you could put together a collection that you couldn't have done a year, 18 months, two years yeah, ago. Yeah, I suppose. Because the prices are, are, are just that wee bit softer now at the minute. But to have a full collection of Dingle in years to come is going to be something. It really is going to be something. And as part of that, in this month's auction, I think we have uh, we have a, definitely a batch one there, a batch one. Uh, batch two, batch three, batch four, batch five. Uh, three, four, and five again. There seems to be a glut of them coming on the market, and the prices backs off a wee bit. And that is because it was when everybody was buying it and going, "Oh, I need to keep a load yeah. of them." Whereas ones and twos, people were drinking them at the time, bars were using them, and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, 
we've got Jade. What is our, our next cocktail? If we can actually try that, do you, do you want to? Yeah, we'll go there. So this is a and an old fashioned using the dingle. This, so this is just the original old fashioned. Yeah. yeah. That'd be interesting to. Oh, I do love an old fashioned. <laughs> I do love an old fashioned on a warm day like. Can I take this jacket off? I'm bloody sweating. It's a warm jacket, by the way. Thanks, lads. I'm thinking. I have too much packing on me, as in packing, fluffy. You, ne- you never see, see a seal wearing a fur coat. You never see a seal wearing a fur coat. I'm just gonna have a wee taste. Please. Yeah, you are driving for the rest of the day. <laughs> see? Driving me. Yeah, I did want some as well. You know, you can finish when you're doing the finish, finish doing the video. Oh, that is nice. That is nice, isn't mm. it? We do like an old fashioned. Uh, I I think this is something that will lend itself really, really well to the cocktails and all that sort of stuff. The ice just melted into it, we but just gives it that. Yeah, no, it was fab. It's fab. Uh, before we drink another one, we will talk about some of the founding fathers. So, some of the founding fathers, we've got um, an old cannon, we've got an kid hooked, we've got an eight up. We've got a uh, Palace Bar. Our pal, Willie, involved in the Palace Bar. That was one of the, I think it was about the third or fourth Founding Fathers release. Or actually, it might have been a bit more. Um, and then when people change. I don't know there, you store all this in your head. Mother of Jesus. I forget to breathe sometimes, Katie. That's what happens. <laughs> I'm like an old computer. You know, I can remember how to do certain things and the rest just sort of go. One of these days, I'm just going to forget how to walk. Actually, with enough dingle in me, I'll probably forget how to walk. Um, these are the LVA ones. Again, these were done. Oliver was um, a huge publican in Dublin. Um, he he drove the Porterhouse Group. He had a lot of following. And so the LVA got behind him. They bought one of the original Fending Father casks. And this is one of the first ones that came out. That's bought number 63. LVA ones are again hard to find That's and hard to get. Cask number six. Cask number six to three. Sorry, bottle number three five eight. Sorry. I You're all right. Looking upside down. Yeah, no. <laughs> Can I have more whiskey then? <laughs> um, there's also for every release that they've done, they've also released the cask strength version. Um, I don't think we've so many in this month. Uh, they can be hard to pick up. The batch one cast strength particularly yeah. are batch two cast strength. I think that's a batch four cast strength. So it's there. We have a. A two and a three. And a two. Oh, sorry. There you go. I didn't see it then. There's the uh, <coughs> yeah. I think it's time for more whiskey. <coughs> so this is... An American old No, it's sorry. a dingle. Oh, old fashioned. Fashion. Fashion. So it's done with PX Sherry as well. Okay, so they've put PX Sherry and Rob's put PX Sherry in. Oh, me told. I was too busy minding the child when the cocktails were being made. Poor yeah. Louie was running rampant around the gap. I'm only having a wee bit, so don't be panicking. Oh, no, I'm panicking. Mm. <laughs> He's you, looking you, at me good. You've got no, the leftovers, yeah. <laughs> the sherry comes through. Oh, it really actually sits well with their whiskey, with the, the, the new core range. Now, saying that, would I sit and drink a couple of them? I don't know, but I'd definitely sit and drink a couple of them. The sherry is, uh, to me, it's just yeah, a no, wee bit too much. It sits, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, that's that. But it's still good. nice, bro. I'm going to love today. Where do we get to finish these? No, Jade uh, finishes them. So the core range one is, that's what everybody knows. The new tubes, I don't know if you've seen it yet. At a very good price point as well. 55 euros uh, in most retails. It is phenomenal. I love the packaging. I, I know that sounds really silly, but I do. I think the well, blue is just it, so it, eye-catching. Yeah, absolutely. It's sitting on a shelf. And look, that's where you, it's like food, it's like drink. You buy, you with, buy your with your eyes. That's yeah. and. It's got to stand out on the shelves. Um, what else was going to do? There's sons and daughters. So there's one of the sons and daughters. Uh, they were a small 25 litre cast that was done for them as well. So get round to what I was going to talk about. So this month we have a charity item. And it is one of the founding fathers. Look at the colour of that. It is just wow, unbelievable. I mean truly unbelievable. Sherry cask. I reckon there was half a barrel of sherry in it when they <laughs> poured it in. It yeah. is phenomenal. It's a fantastic colour. Don't forget, it's had time now. Again, we're talking seven, eight years. Mm, yeah. It's been sitting in the barrel. It's just, look, it is just phenomenal. Um, Far on re, who's the charity? It's the Irish Motor Neuron Disease Association. Okay, so that's raising funds for the Irish Motor Neuron Disease Association. Um, cast number 62, which is one before 63. 
To be honest, if anybody wanted yeah, to do a very comparison, intelligent man. I, I can count as well. Mm-hmm. Um, that would be a phenomenal thing to have. Also, it's raising funds um, for the motor neuron disease. Um, and it comes with? It comes with a sample bottle, which I think is a great idea. And it was, well, it was donated to us for, for a charity cause. That's a great chance to taste it. And it even, it's very rare you'll see uh, a sample bottle with the colour in it. Yeah. Because it usually, because it's so concentrated in a big bottle, it's very rare you'll actually see the smaller but bottle. But that's that still a very rich real, colour. Real, real rich yeah, yeah, of course, it's not as dark. But it's still quite rich. Yep. Um, and there's also a deconstructed tasting in this month's auction. Um, and then if we share the love that whilst we're in Dingle, there's a Dick Max uh, Coffee Stout cast, a Dick Max Dingle uh, release, which was their, their partnership with us. And then there's a Writer's Tears uh, Seaweed IPA. That's tying up the whole Dingle thing. Do you like that? The that, link in yeah, that was very brilliant. That's Our great. last cocktail... I I don't know about the sherry, it's sort of sitting yeah, it's there. Set, yeah, no, it's I, now. Still, I'll have to drink another one of these. You'll have to. I'll have to. Because there's no way I'm pouring that out of your hands. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Sorry, Jade's giving me eyeballs. <sighs> this is? A New York <coughs> Sour. So it's dingle whiskey with red wine each. A New York Sour and it's a dingle whiskey with red wine. Yeah, so... Dingle is the whiskey. What's the peg about? To hold the little lemon. I love cocktail, you know, mixologists as they call themselves now, and they put things like pegs and stuff like that. And um, it's for hiding your, it's for hanging your tiny washer. Yeah. yeah. My tiny whities wouldn't be hanging on them with them. <laughs> oh, baby. Me budgie smugglers, you definitely wouldn't be hanging them on the line with them. No. no. Oh, that's different. Well, oh, that's different in a whole lot of ways. Well, you do like red wine as well. <laughs> Katie, I like anything that's wet. Not really. Uh, yeah, is it wrong? Okay. Kind of better me. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice, actually. That's nice. Now, again, would I drink multiples of them? I'm not entirely sure. I like these crystals. Where did Robert come up with these crystals? He must have taken them from home. (laughs) Granny or something like that. (laughs) That's a cute glass. That is a cute glass. Taste that. That's with the red wine. Actually, that's nice. Could I drink multiples of them? Yeah. Sorry, that's not nice. Red wine. Yeah, red wine. I'm not a red wine fan. No, there is a bit of a bite to red wine. (laughs) Can we go back to this? Or we'll go back to old tradition. Yeah. I've definitely tried the new one, man. Right, anyhow, so that's it. Dingle, 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 dingle. Oh, we can do dingle all the way. <laughs> uh, look, again, we always have a huge selection of dingle in everyone's yeah. auction. Um, this month, we thought we'd team up with them, we'd uh, talk about the new single malt that they have as part of the core range, which I personally believe is a huge shift in the Irish whiskey uh, scene. Uh, that's just my Idiotic opinion. opinion. Yeah, you're um, entitled to it. I'm entitled to it. Uh, I still have been saying that in 15, 20 years' time, when the story of Irish whiskey being written and people from Asia and America are really engaging with Irish whiskey, Dingo's these are the, be, they're the ones they're going to yeah. look for. So they're going to talk about what was first, what was next, what happened, what happened, and how was the story. Of course, like they're going to be in the main. And in truth, Dingle have told the story well. They've got that that sort of the the. The rural feel or the, 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 the country feel and it's really cultivates. And I mean, you speak to anybody anywhere in the world, they nearly know Dingle above Ireland. You know, course, it is yeah, the yeah. American market for, for, for mark tourism is Dingle yeah, orientated. Yeah. As I always used to say, for as, as a gripe, you know, tourists arrived in the Dublin airport and they were told head south or head west. They were never told to come to the northeast. Partly because we were trying to kill each other up here for a long time. That's all stopped now. We don't do that anymore. Belfast is nice. Was that a good time? Yeah. Dave's doing... Actually, Dave is doing a, a tasting on Paul's Belfast Whiskey Week. It'll mm-hmm. be a good one to have. Oh, that'd be so again, it'll be a good one to have. Um, I believe there's been a few of the deconstructed... Graham's done a few tastings with the deconstructing of the the new core range. And I think that's again, would be a good thing to do. So that's oh. it. Dingle. Dingle. Drunk husband... <laughs> 
Live at five. Auctions live at five. Oh, live at five, yeah, we're going live yeah, today. We'll, we'll, me and Robert will try our best to have it up and running <coughs> while he's licking the floor. Yeah. So guys, don't forget, live at five. Fix the nails. Just, will you shut up? Okay. Fine. Live at five, don't forget. I'm going to try the sherry one again. Charity auction. That's nice. I like it. Dig deep, as usual. I, I'm all discombobulated today. I don't know what's wrong with well, You're doing the talking because I'm doing the drinking. I like this. <laughs> but you're not a I shouldn't have had the ice cream. No. No. That's rude. But anyhow. Rude? Shh. Okay. Anyhow. Live at five. I hope you enjoyed these cocktails. Oh, mother of sweet good. Jesus. <coughs> We're going to have to go, guys. Bye. Throw more whiskey. No, Throw bye. Whiskey. Bye. 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 Cheers.